Hey everybody, welcome in. I'm gonna show you how I paint the little daisies, the little pink daisies tonight. Um, sort of one stroke-ish. So I'll show you real quick. This is just a little styrofoam palette that I'm using for paint. The paint that I am using is the Golden Fluid Acrylic. I'm gonna use the Quinacridone Magenta and some white for this tonight. Um, so yeah, come on in. As you'll see here, I have um, my little outlines made up here for my daisies and the pattern for this, if you do need it, will be linked below in the description box. So I'm just gonna use two colors. So I'm gonna take a good bit of the white here, um, almost all of it, and I'm gonna add just a touch. I probably have, I have way too much of uh, the quinacridone there, um, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna add mix it myself. You can feel free to use Artist Acrylics in the pink colors of your choosing, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use these. So I've just mixed up, um, I'd say three parts white to like one or one part of the magenta. And I'm just going to um, load my brush up pretty well with that paint like you'll see here and I might just dip in the very tip of the brush into the magenta and tap some of that off. And you'll see me go back and forth and just do that. So we'll go in right here. We'll work right here first. So the center portion is the center of the flower, um, the outer ring, they almost look like little donuts. So we're gonna fill that part of the donut with the flower petals. So I wanna show you the one stroke that will help you um, to make the petals of the daisy. So what I'm using here is just, um, this is a King's Art brush, number four round. So, you know, nothing um, out of the unusual. I'm gonna take the brush in, I can go straight up and down or with a slight little point. I'm just gonna touch the brush to the paper I'm gonna press it down and I'm gonna pull it back to that center ring of the donut. As I do that, I'm gonna lift the brush slowly up, back to the point and lift off of the paper. So I'm just gonna fill the ring of my donut with that same stroke. So it's that press, pull and lift pulling back, press, pull, lift. And I am basically going to do that all the way around that little donut shape that I've traced on. Some of them are touching. I don't have to worry a whole, whole lot about the point, um, but I'm just gonna pull this over just so you can see. So I've got my three colors right there. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up some more of that and a little bit of my magenta. I like the mix of two colors. So I'm gonna drop it, press. I can wiggle it if I need it even thicker, pull and lift back to that point. I like the look of more than one color on my brush. can pull, lift back to that center. Press, pull, lift. And you'll see here where I went sideways a bit. Um, so my stroke was a little bit wonky, but I kind of like that. Like I'm not loving this one. Sorry, I'm just gonna spin the paper a little bit. I'm gonna blend that. So press, pull, lift, press, pull, lift. And we'll get one more in there. Press, pull, lift back to the center. I'm gonna give that a minute to dry. And I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing um, around this one. So press, pull, lift. Now, if you want the end of your flower 
to not quite be so rounded, you can drop that brush tip, pull it back a little, then press, pull, and lift back to the center. And you see how you get that pointed end on your petal there. And these are just going to be some really big, open flower blooms. Really, once you get the hang of this stroke, this is known as a comma stroke. Made very popular with that um, one stroke painting technique. But honestly, artists have been doing it for years. So I've done two. Um, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna pull in um, some more of that white and I might actually add some more white because I want it to be lighter. We're gonna do a second layer of leaves. I mean, of flower petals, sorry about that. So I'm gonna mix some of that white in to that base pink that we used And I'm just gonna leave some of the white. I like to, like I said, have the variation. So now I'm gonna go back over and, and kind of in between, you're gonna place them where you kind of feel uh, like they should be. So I'm gonna press, pull, and lift back to the center. Um, yes, you're gonna go over some of your bottom flower petals. Um, but it's okay, you can even bring them and start them in shorter. Press, pull, and lift back to the center. See how the shorter ones, you can still kind of see the layers underneath. You don't have to do in between each petal, just where you feel another petal should be. So we'll do this over here. I'll start here, pull in, press, pull, lift, press, pull, and lift. I'm just loading up my brush and you can actually get in there, make them as short or as big as you want by alternating your strokes just a little bit you give that flower the movement of the petals. So where they're not all just sticking straight out, um, like a little ray of sunshine, I guess. Um, just because I like the rule of threes, I'm gonna come over, I'm just mixing up a little bit of a darker pink again now. And I'm gonna work right here on this one. So I'm gonna overlap right over that flower. Press, pull, lift. Don't like that. Let me get my paint mix just a little bit better on my palette. Press, pull, and lift. It's really not a huge deal. Um, after all, it is just paint. Take the time to practice. And you see how not each petal is going straight from there to the center. I am dropping it, pulling it off to one side and then to the middle. I can do the next petal right next to it and pull it. But you see how um, the petals are just kind of, they're, they're movement. They have movement. Um, so I can pull that back in. As long as the paint's wet, you can blend it if you get those streaks like I just got. If you like that look, leave it be. Right, so I'm just pulling these back to the center. Bottom leaves, don't get too stressed because again, we're coming in with our lighter pink and our white. 
I'm gonna pick up a lot more of the white for that particular flower because it is still really wet. So then I'm just gonna come in, pull some random leaves in. My, not leaves, petals, petals. <laughs> We're just gonna pull some second layer of flower petals in there. We're only using two colors. We're just mixing the colors and having fun. So there's our three little daisies. I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit. I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow. Okay, and I'm gonna use the yellow and I'm gonna use some white. So I'll need just another drop of, of white and then a stiff, old, stiff brush. So I have an old Filbert brush here. Um, seen better days. The paint is falling off of the handle, but it's a nice, stiff, kind of just scruffy brush which makes it perfect for, I'm just gonna tap. I don't need a lot of the yellow. I'm gonna take my yellow and I'm gonna come in here and just kind of tap on the, oh, sorry, the yellow centers of my flowers. Might pick up some of the pink, but that is okay. So just tiny little centers there. Same brush, I'm gonna just grab a little bit of white. Um, I might tap a little bit of that off. I mean, you're talking the tiniest little bit. And I'm just gonna tap some of that white. For me, on the top left, top left corner, and I'm just gonna make like a little backwards C or um, like a sideways rainbow shape with the white just to give it a little bit of a highlight. I went a little too far into my yellow. I'll just add a little bit more there. And honestly, there you go. You have your daisies. Stay tuned for the next video. I will be showing you how to put the leaves on. I'll teach you how to do the leaves. If you like this, please click that thumbs up on the video, like and subscribe the channel. Many, many more video tutorials to come. And if you do need a hand-drawn pattern to attempt these flowers, the link will be below in the description box. Thank you.